Becky, these tariffs would hammer the auto industry and would likely lead to you and I and everybody paying a lot more in the dealership in terms of buying a new vehicle. Here's the reason why. Look at the number of vehicles that come into the United States from plants in Mexico. If you go all the way back to 2012, look at the dramatic increases. By the way, 2.7 million vehicles, that's expected to potentially move even higher in 2019. In terms of value, it has skyrocketed. It's now $52.6 billion. That's the value of the vehicles that are coming across the border from Mexico. And the biggest importer, General Motors. That's why the stock is under pressure this morning. It imports more vehicles from plants in Mexico than any other automaker. Another automaker is feeling the pain. Fiat Chrysler. They built Ram trucks down or build Ram trucks down in Mexico. Again, high value vehicles that come from plants in Mexico into the United States. Also take a look at the Asian auto stocks, all of them under pressure overnight, not only because of Mexico, but obviously what's going on with China. Uh, Nissan is one of these in here, even though it's unchanged today, uh, a huge importer of vehicles from plants in Mexico. Bottom line is this, guys. The average vehicle right now, what you and I pay at a dealership when we go out, on average, it's about $34,000. You know, don't, it doesn't take much. Do the math. 5% of $34,000, you're adding another $1,700 onto that vehicle. And that's just the average. We're not talking about people paying $45,000, $55,000 for a vehicle or a new pickup truck. So it could go substantially higher, and that's just at 5%.